for many people choosing between the Apple Watch Series 6 and the Samsung Galaxy Watch 3 is a no-brainer. If you are one of those people, let us know right now in the comments below which one you prefer. When it comes to smartwatches, there is nothing like a showdown between Samsung and Apple. And as you know, we really go to town testing all devices in real life situations and today is no exception. Call in the UK. Are you suddenly going to go all official on me? In terms of size and pricing, the Galaxy Watch 3 comes in with 45mm, it is also available at 41mm and it has stainless steel casing. The Apple Watch Series 6 comes in at 44mm, we also have a 40mm you can get and this is aluminium but you have the possibility really to upgrade the casing for both watches. For example, both watches are available in titanium. If you are on a tight budget, then you will see that the Galaxy Watch 3 comes in cheaper than the Apple Watch Series 6 and it is likely to drop even lower than that in future. So that is something you should bear in mind. Today I want to come in at a different angle altogether. What is it like when you don't have any restrictions to any ecosystem? Or you're not tied to any ecosystem. You can see that the Apple Watch Series 6 obviously works well with iOS. The Galaxy Watch 3 works well with Android, with any Android phone, as long as you have the wearable app downloaded. Samsung phones obviously have a better synchronization. However, there's one major difference. The Galaxy Watch 3 will work with iOS and Android, whereby the uh, CA6 will only work with iOS. So this is a major restriction if you are looking for some sort of flexibility already. Quickly looking at the weight, and there's a slight difference here, it's only 10 gram, but the Apple Watch Series 6 comes in at 62 gram and the Galaxy Watch 3 comes in at 72 gram. And just in case you are wondering how much difference there is. Moving on to the design, and there's way more beyond the square versus round. Obviously, it is a design choice, a subjective choice for people. Personally, I like a round watch better, but that's a different story. There's also way more to consider, and you can see this here on my arm, just to give you some sort of idea of what it looks like when you have them on you. But what it does do is different functionalities or different way of functioning. If you look at the Apple Watch Series 6, for example, both, by the way, have touchscreen, both work well with the touchscreen. You have the digital crown on the Apple Watch Series 6, and then you have a whole bunch of little icons. You can rearrange them in a different menu system. But this is pretty much all you get in terms of using it, whereby on the Galaxy Watch 3, for example, you have different ways of interacting with your watch. You have a touchscreen, of course, you have two buttons, and that is really helpful. You also have a bezel. Having a bezel will add some bulkiness to your watch for sure, and it makes a difference when you put a shirt on or something else. It will not just slip under that like the Apple Watch Series 6. I have to say, though, for me personally, I like that bezel because it gives me more ways to interact and to kind of functioning or use the functionality of the Galaxy Watch 3. And here you can see a really good example. I feel like the Galaxy Watch 3, for example, gives me more screen real estate to see the notifications, to read the notifications, whereby the Apple Watch Series 6 is kind of smaller. I have to look something twice sometimes, uh, but it does give me more flexibility when I, for example, want to scribble or doodle or do something else or reply. So there are different ways of looking at that, um, but this is a really good example here especially when you want to use your watch more like a standalone device and respond to messages or maybe use social media or any other form of interaction. This leads me to the screen technology of both watches and there's a whole bunch of numbers flying around. Apple claims to have a thousand nits brightness for their Apple Watch Series 6 and it is an OLED screen. Samsung says it is a super AMOLED screen but doesn't disclose any nits or brightness level. However, what I can tell you though is that the Galaxy Watch 3 is much brighter inside. It is pretty much like shining in your eyes when you have it on full brightness. And the Apple Watch Series 6 is slightly behind here. However, that changes when you go outside. And we did some testing for you guys so you can really see some real life examples. And you can see here, uh, both watches have the watch face on full brightness and it is on and you can see that very clearly. However, 
when it goes on always on display the whole story changes and you can see here the Apple Watch Series 6 takes the lead the Galaxy Watch 3 we had trouble really seeing anything on there and the next test we want to show you is really kind of seeing which one comes on faster let's say you go jogging and you just want to have a glance at what time or uh, distance whatever it is you got a notification and this is how fast both watches come on at the same time when it comes to health and fitness for both watches they are pretty similar but there are also some major differentiation as of today and the galaxy watch 3 for example has in addition to the usual activity tracking and automatic workout detection heart rate monitoring enhanced sleep tracking blood oxygen monitoring and fall detection most of this can be found on the apple watch series 6 however there's that one major differentiation and that is ecg ECG has been available on the Series 5 already and now obviously on the Series 6 and the Series 6 has also added blood oxygen monitoring It has some real-time elevation tracking and ECG of course. Samsung has promised that ECG functionality for a long time. Even Fitbit manages to get ECG over the line but we're still waiting for the ECG functionality for the Galaxy Watch 3 or in fact for any Galaxy watch or Samsung watch out there. So Apple clearly takes the lead here when it comes to these health features. It also has a noise up. It will automatically alert you when there is uh, too much noise going on outside or inside wherever you are. It also has the high and low heart rate notification and irregular heart rhythm notification. And the results are all in when it comes to distance they were all in line with one another the highest heart rate was also in line with one another at around 150 but when it came to the average heart rate we do have issues between the three we have the polar beat coming in at a very very low 87 which sounds a little bit off the apple watch and the galaxy watch 3 actually came in close together at 128 and 134 on the galaxy watch 3 okay so i have the results also but for me it is a completely different story the polar beat shows me 143 for an average heart rate it is in line with the apple watch series 6 the maximum heart rate is 155 and the apple watch shows me 158 that is also pretty much very close and in line however the galaxy watch 3 shows me 109 for the average heart rate and 130 for the maximum heart rate for that little bit of jogging here so i don't know where i went wrong but i will try again and see what the results are later Hi, honey. Hello, can you hear me? A surprise call. I can hear you perfectly. How does it sound? Is the speaker good? How well does it sound? The Galaxy Watch 3. Speaker sounds awesome. Call in the UK. I'm filming you. Are you suddenly going to go all official on me? I, I need to do my hair. <laughs> need to do her proper voice. I can't see you, so you don't have to do your hair. <laughs> That was very special. <laughs> See, everyone's going to know what a very special mum I have. The speaker on the Galaxy Watch 3 was significantly louder than the Apple Watch Series 6 when taking a call. So much so that we checked the Apple website. And on the website, they claim 50% louder speaker or more volume on calls than previously however when you check the fine print is actually referring back to the series 3 so the extra 50 percent is from the series 3 to the series 6. when it came to call quality the apple watch series 6 actually sounded less interference so less background noise on it than the galaxy watch 3. When it comes to fall detection, both watches work just as well as each other. You're probably around 50% of a detection rate. And we have a separate dedicated video out for that if you want to go and check it out. But here's some glimpse of what it would look like when both watches come on for the fall detection. Sleep tracking, that is an interesting one here. And I had both watches on for several nights and I can tell you that the Galaxy Watch 3 has the advantage here. Not just sleep tracking itself, but also the way it displays the data in the app. 
Um, I'm not sure what Apple is doing here, but it is so confusing. Uh, there's not much to it. You just see a couple of bars and that's pretty much it. Whereby when you go on the uh, Samsung Health app, you can see more deep sleep, REM sleep and so on and so on. But the one that was in line with how I slept or how I felt I slept, that was the Galaxy Watch 3 100%. I can tell you that because I had a rough night and it is pretty much in line with the four hours here of 356 that is showing me instead of seven or eight hours that the Apple Watch has been showing me here. One of our real life tests is really GPS accuracy, but not so much in detail in terms of where the line is compared to the street, but how does it navigate you somewhere when you are in need of navigation and you have no other options. So we put in Munich Airport for both watches. Both watches got us there in the same way, same route, no issues, works really well. So what about battery life for both devices? Please bear in mind, both watches are on always on display, fully brightness, fully everything as you can imagine. Fully charging the Apple Watch Series 6 from a depleted battery to 100% is 1 hour and 41 minutes. The Galaxy Watch 3 comes in at 2 hours and 16 minutes from a depleted battery to 100%. Both watches have gone through the same exercises, the same sleeping routine with me here after being fully charged. The Galaxy Watch 3 lasted me 25 hours and 17 minutes. The Apple Watch CA6 lasted me 28 hours and 12 minutes. Please bear in mind that you probably can adjust these settings to last both watches longer. And there's also an update coming out for the uh, Galaxy Watch 3 to have an improvement for the battery life. So look, there's a lot of things that the Apple Watch does well, and there's a lot of things that the Galaxy Watch 3 does well. And if you keep score, it's probably 50-50 the same at the end. And it really depends on your design choice and the ecosystem you want to be in. And that leads me to this point. I feel like that the Apple Watch, and it is a really nice polished watch, but the ecosystem kind of really locks you in so much that I felt like it almost dictates me what I can and cannot see. And just to give you an example, when I went walking with our dog, I put both on the walking um, exercise mode on the Galaxy Watch 3 and the um, health app, I can see the steps I have taken. And they're pretty much in line, I had 300 steps counted, 299 it showed me. On the Apple Watch Series 6, for example, there aren't any steps available apart from the overall steps you have all day. And that is kind of a restriction I don't want to have. And that's what I feel like using the Apple ecosystem. There is less customization in terms of what you can and cannot see. And Apple will always kind of tell you. The other thing is that though, to put it more in a positive light here, it has ECG. When Apple does something, then they do it properly. And I wish Samsung would come out with all the stuff they promised for the Active 2 and the Galaxy Watch 3. And I've seen a video yesterday that explains how the ECG tracking works on the Samsung YouTube channel. But nobody has it apart from probably people in South Korea. So I would say if Samsung sorts out their marketing department and Apple is the master of marketing here, then it really should be going up in terms of sales. In terms of conclusion, I'm kind of torn because I like both watches. I like the round and design choice. I like the Galaxy Watch 3 way more than this because it looks like a small button on my arm. And I know it sounds silly, but I have pretty big arms and hands. And if you look at that, um, that is way too small for me. If Apple would come out with a beefier watch, like a 46 or something beefier, then it'd probably be better for me. If I could merge them, I probably would have the perfect watch. But guys, let me know in the comments below which one you prefer. Let me know right now. Jens and Tony here, of course, from All Star Space. And thank you for watching. See you next time. Peace out. Reality is gonna fade away. I might go to Monte Carlo. I might spend a million bucks floating down the river.